hot excursion today. It's a little breezy. Hopefully the audio is good. Four inch stream smasher. Here's the fish. <sighs> Didn't take long. Not a big one, but he ate that bluegill. Nice. Nice little fish, little bite-sized bluegill, chomp, chomp. All right, Let's see if we can keep it rolling. Ooh, felt like there was a bite. That one feels pretty good. That feels like a big fish. Oh. Oh yeah, nice one. Look at that. Nice. Probably close to three pounds. Not a real giant, but he smoked that bluegill. Beauty. Nice. Another good fish. <sighs> yeah. Oh, he chomped it. Oh, look at that one. Woo. Munched it. I don't know if you can see that, but he just munched that gill. What a beautiful tank fish. Still looking pre spawn in these. Oh, man. What a great fish. Well, let's get him unhooked. Oh, man. Just chomping that gill. Oh, beauty. Oh. Oh, what a great looking fish. Let's get it back in the water. Nice. All right, so that was three fish. Just progressively getting bigger, so let's see if this goes. Uh, throwing this little bluegill on this Champion 734. This is a Dream Smasher gill. I'll be sure to put a link down in the description if you don't know how to get these baits. It's just a guy in Minnesota that custom pours these baits. Just a juicy little swim bait. And all we're really doing, I don't know if you can see that, there's current coming out of a, a culvert here, and that's a key in ponds or lakes or rivers or wherever you get, and there's a little seam. And I'm just casting and slow rolling this bait right through that area. There's one. Another big one. Oh. <laughs> the big girls are up here chewing today. Oh, it's even bigger. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that old melon head. Just chomping. Just chomping that bluegill. Oh, what an amazing fish. Oh. You don't have to have a big fancy bass boat to catch big fish. Look at that. All right, let's get that one unhooked. Just chewing it. Oh, man. I think I brought my little pliers with me today. Oh, Look at that spicy beast. Another hog on the old Dream Smasher. It's disappearing. All right, one more key is you kind of want them fish. You, when you first feel that tap, you don't necessarily want to swing. You just want to kind of reel let them tighten up on it and then set like let them chew it um, it's not a treble hook bait so you want to let them kind of suck it in before you swing the hook it takes patience but you kind of want to feel them eat that bait
Oh, yeah, there's another big one came up and ate it. Oh my gosh, the big ones are just stacked in here today. Oh, oh my gosh. I should have brought my scale. But there's just hog after hog. Oh, look at that beat up old mouth on that old girl. I mean, she just battle tested. Oh man, let's get her back in the water. God, another beautiful fish. Just that has to be what, like three, four pounders and a three pounder. We're talking like 15, 16 pounds for probably four fish and they're still biting. Make sure when you're catching fish like this, you're checking your line. Them big fish can like get that fluorocarbon in their teeth and just, or little rocks, and you don't want to be losing swim baits or big fish. Come on, one more big one so we can have a, like a, a big old five fish limit. There's another one. <sighs> Doesn't feel quite as big, but it's still a nice fish. Yoked that dream smasher. Ugh. All right, quality fish. Probably would call that first one out if we were fishing a derb. Nice fish. Look at that. Oh. Get back in the water. All right. Let's keep it rolling. Just a nice, slow, steady retrieve. Feel them bump it, you just want to let them just kind of eat it before you set the hook. It's a soft bait. Like they, bluegills and stuff have a spine, that hook, that, I mean, it just feels like meat to them. They're gonna, they're gonna hold on to that. That's a, that's a juicy treat. It's a realistic bait. They are not gonna spit that bait. Another one. Still a nice fish, not quite as big, but still a good fish. Look at that. Oh, this is swim bait fishing at its finest from the bank look at that oh man they're just chewing this bluegill up and durable check out how this bait is holding up nice get that fish back just I'm starting to lose count how many was that is that like eight fish and probably like 15 casts maybe then fish are just pushed up in that current feeding If the swim bait bite ever dies here, we will pick up a jig and see if we can't <laughs> pick up a few more fish that maybe are a little lazy, won't chase a swim bait, and just kind of bounce it through there. Might try changing our retrieve angle a little bit. Give them fish something just a little different to look at. Kind of wish I would have brought my glide bait to try. All right. We're gonna set the swim bait down and give the jig a try. This three eighths ounce Bass Tech Okeechobee Craw jig. First we'll just start swimming it through there. I'll try dragging it in there. See if there's any that we're just not wanting to chase. That will pick something up off the bottom. About as quickly as that went down, it shut down. I tried a few other spots, a few other baits. Uh, never really got any more action. But uh, if you're looking for a good pond swim bait or a good starter swim bait, I'll put a link down below to that Dream Smasher 4-inch gill. As you can see, they choke it. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed this quick pond video. Uh, I'm going to grab a little bit of trash on my way out. Uh, just a reminder, you don't need a big boat to catch fish and enjoy the outdoors. So uh, get out there, test the waters around your house, get on your bike, get in your car, stop when you're getting groceries, whatever, make a few casts uh, and catch some fish. So as always, here to help you catch more fish and suck less.